my partner, David Filo, and I co-started Yahoo um, almost 15 years ago in 1994. Uh, Yahoo started out as a hobby. Uh, in fact, the first name we called it was Jerry and David Guide to the World Wide Web. And um, I'm glad we didn't keep that name. Um, but pretty soon we realized people had a fun experience when they were looking on the internet and looking for things and they used Yahoo to find what they were looking for and they were so happy. And they called Yahoo and we put an explanation behind our name and off we went. When we started there were fewer than 10 million people globally on the internet. That's less than one third of one percent of the world population back then. The internet backbone traffic at that time amounted to 17 terabytes per month. Back then, people talked about online bulletin boards, and the mobile internet was unheard of. But there was a sense among the, those in technology and engineering circles that there was, this was the beginning of something huge. We had a passion to create a community of knowledge and information, and to come connect local communities to the people of the world. We understood from pioneers like Tim and Ben Sir that there was a tremendous amount of social value to the web. And we had an opportunity to make big and positive impact in people's lives. Back then, the internet was built on the same foundations and ideals as today. Openness, freedom of expression, universal access, global participation, and the power of information. So where are we now? In 2009, as has been mentioned, it's been more than 1.6 billion people on the internet, about 25% of the world population. Their internet backbone traffic exceeded 8 million terabytes a month, about a 500,000 fold increase since 15 years ago. Today there are more than 200 million websites, 90,000 new sites being created a day. And on Yahoo, we have over 600 million people visiting us every month, and 8 billion minutes spent on the, from those visitors. There are 300 million Yahoo email users sending 100 billion messages a month. 112 million people on our Yahoo instant messaging sending 81 billion messages each month. And there are 120 million people in what we call Yahoo groups communicating across 10 million different groups of activity, everything including local schools, sports, to diseases, and support groups. What's astonishing are not those just numbers. It's the impact the internet has had on so many people around the world. From social economic opportunities, to the ability to provide better health care, educating the next generation of students and entrepreneurs. 